Anna Vaughn, this Randy, your sewing machine man, and today we're looking at a Elna 1010, a 1010 Elena, as they say. And uh, the reason we have this one to look at today is because they're not all Kenmore 158s or Singer 403s. Sometimes there's a nice intermediate machine that's not one of the low end, drastic plastic, Rice crispy snap, crackle, pop plastic ones. Sometimes they're just a good intermediate machine like this one. And this one uh, has a lot of similarities to a lot of other machines you might uh, notice, like uh, Neki makes one very similar to this. Uh, Janome makes a lot very similar to this, real similar platform. And uh, the Kenmore 385 is similar to this, except this one has a better reverse mechanism than that Kenmore 385. It doesn't have that funky little uh, spring-loaded deal down here that freezes up. This is a nice little machine, and that is a 15 class. You're going to be talking about 15 class all the time because a front load 15 class is a very robust and easy to service machine. This one came in with the hook with some scratches on it because somebody sewed on some heavy, heavy stuff, and sometimes you have to help it through. The needle will hit the hook, you pop it out, you put it on the jeweler's wheel, you polish it up real pretty, as good as new, and you clean up the needle plate, you know, clean it, oil it. And what this one's good is you, underneath your handle here, you have a screw on either side. You take the top off, you take the side off, you take the bottom off. You have total access with your handy dandy extended spout oiler. You can reach every place in here to oil all the wicks. And it has real nice oiling wicks, which a lot of the better machines have. An oiling wick is an oil reservoir made out of felt. And you, you know, soak it with oil and it feeds it to the different... Uh, uh, you know, moving parts and uh, different bearings, and it extends the life of the oil job. So, if you can get a machine like this, a 1010, you know, they're out there. It's not a brand new machine, but it's not that old. You'll see them in estate sales. This was bought at an estate sale, and uh, they called me and was curious, and I said, let's take a look at it. And yeah, jackpot. I think they bought it for 40 bucks at a yard sale slash uh, estate sale, and this is what I'm talking about. If you want to get a nice durable machine, you know, it's not heavy duty, I didn't say that, but it's intermediate. It's going to sew your shirts, your jammies, your pillowcases, your uh, maybe light denim, light leather with the proper needle. But when you hear the needle going thump, thump, thump on any machine, that's when you're on thin ice. It's time to head back to shore. You're going to fall through and get your ice skates all wet. Learned that growing up in Ohio. We did a lot of ice skating on thin ice. So. This little guy right here, I'd recommend it if you can find one. You know, it's got the standard 15 class bobbin winder, the release, has a drop feed, doesn't have the uh, pressure adjuster on top, which is about the only thing I can say about it. So it doesn't make it perfect. But a nice little machine. If you find one of these, you can get them for a couple hundred bucks or less, grab it. It'll be a good, solid uh, primary machine or maybe even a backup, depending on what you got. But this is the Elna. 1010 15 class front load low shank recommended find one